Grand Rising. Shalom, Israel. Chopping it up with y'all today. Uh, Want to bring some things to your attention about. It's the Sabbath right now, and how I've been spending my Sabbath. I've been, um, you know, getting my relaxation on. And if I don't have to be moving around in this world, mainly due to my job, I'm a truck driver, etc. Uh, the Most High, you know, offers grace for that. Understanding there's nothing I'm doing of my will, being at a club or something like that. But on this particular Sabbath. He moved the world out of my way, and uh, I'm enjoying this Sabbath, sitting back, uh, able to share and do this video with y'all. Uh, okay, and I'm uh, to get that right, just right. Okay, so what I'm coming with y'all with, um, having a conversation, I'm not really going to go into the Edomite, the Esau thing, you know, y'all going to have to deal with that on your own, I'm trying to wake my people up. And speaking of that, a lot of brothers out here don't want to understand it. They've been taking up the strong potion, drunk off the wine, strong delusion to thinking that we Africans. They did all this to deflect and keep us lost as a people, not now knowing that we Shemites, we're not Hamites, Af uh, which are Africans. Obama's a Hamite. They used this world to keep us lost and used Obama thinking they'll be all the same to keep us in that avenue of following their they politics. We don't have a dog in this fight. Politics is not for us. There's two wings of the uh, same bird. You know, you got football teams on the field. Both those teams, even though they're opposition to each other, all those funds go to one account. One entity, the NFL, is benefiting from that gathering. The same with your politics. So I'm trying to share with my brothers the difference of us Shemites opposed to the Hamites who are Africans. The fact that we fled into Africa in 70 AD to hide amongst the other dark nations, which were the Hamites, fleeing prosecution from the Romans, who once we fell due to those curses, eventually took our identity, being the fake Jews, the Khazars, the converts. They could not hide amongst other dark nations with white skin for 1,500 plus years. So, I had a conversation of, you know, detailing all this online, and a white gentleman comes in, Edomite brother, uh, not understanding that Esau and Jacob are twins born of the womb from a black mother. And he goes into, basically you doubting the power of the most high God. If he's gonna put a white child in the womb of a black woman, that's what he do. You trying to equate what man's ability is and say what can be done because of you thinking like a man and ain't understanding God's power. So he goes on to say something in effect, matter of fact, the, the, the lost Jacob brother, uh, us being of Jacob said that Esau was an albino. Now I'm trying to understand because me in this world I've encountered albinos in my time and I've never yet to encounter two albinos in the same concert or gathering group ever in my life. So I'm trying to understand if Genesis say that um Esau would be ruling at the end of times. Where's a nation or a group of albinos that has been running the world, running the world with nu nuclear capability, um, army, a government? Someone put a comment down there showing me where this, this uh, nation of albinos is located. had a call coming in. So this is what we're dealing with, the people that's in this world and deflecting from these, uh, this known information, you know. They showed us this understanding that we Hamites, which are Africans. I'm gonna show you how they think about us. Now, this is how they mocked Ham. 
How many of you, by the way, know a man named Ham? I mean, biblically, I know of Ham being a progenitor of the Africans. Four families of them. The Zondaban Bible details that there's four families of Africans, not the Negro. When we came in as slaves, our forefathers, it said the bill of sales for slaves said Negroes for sale. So somebody knows something. This is what they were doing, mocking you, thinking you're a Hamite. That's 1961. Look at that. 1961. That's 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 the. Uh, let me get that straight again. That's the History Channel. Reflecting back, look what it says. Meet Ham. First chimpanzee in 1961. They sent out in space. All those Edomites gathered around him laughing. Because this is what they think of you. <laughs> He's sending you monkeys off to space. <laughs> but, uh, you're, not, you're not a Hamite. And there's no blessing in thinking you're a Hamite. Obama knows this. That's why he was complicit with them in uh, setting you up for the uppercut. The underlay for the ole. Because you're getting played following this world. I uh, was watching a movie called Troy. Come to find out, this movie is about Achilles. Come to find out, in the Bible, it tells how he scattered us Israelites to all four corners of the earth. Well, we went into these different empires, and in that movie, nobody will fight unless Achilles fight because we had power still from our God. You know, uh, we were, we weren't quite under the full punishment, but it's even in this world today, entertainment, sports. They get all their power off us. I just watched the movie The Secretary, and there was a Shemite brother tending to that horse, trained that horse. So Achilles, they would not fight because they wouldn't do well or win if he didn't fight. And it was about Sparta and another uh, Greek place. But anyway, they did a lot to erase our identity in this world. But they, they, this is how much they've been mocking us. This is the movie Troy, and these are, these are these are called fringes. Like I said, this is what's commanded in the Bible for us Israelites to keep as a commandment. This is our custom that they had us stripped from. The Native Indians wear fringes, and I know there's some BOIs out there telling me a lot of people wear fringes. But I like to show, I like to be shown who those other nationalities or nations or people have fringes on their garments. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people, you know, that's like saying um, a lot of people got pyramids, you know, when the largest and oldest pyramid is in Mexico, Istakar. But nevertheless, I'm going to get off that. So this movie, Troy, just showing you how they're mocking us. They captured a lady from another uh, empire, and this is Brad Pitt in the movie, but look to his left. Look at her garments. Those are fringes with borders of blue. They know who you are. They know who we are. Once again, Hamites cannot grow beards, goat teeth, afros, and dreads. You might see some with a mustache and a, a fragment of a, a goatee, but you won't see no full beards on them. It's not in their DNA. And if they have had it, it's because they mixed with our Shemite blood. This is something that we rocked as a culture, as a fashion, all through the 60s and 70s. We're totally different than them. So I'm going to read some scriptures showing you why there's no benefit in this. And this is being Deuteronomy. Letting you understand, let me move that TV. Letting you understand by process of elimination of a, Hemite, a Hamite and a Shemite. These are the curses that befall the Shemites, the Hebrews, the Israelites. And uh, you tell me if any Africans have went through this. Hamites. Let me see. Where can I start? Uh, 
Okay, these are the curses of Deuteronomy that was placed on us for our forefathers' sins. You tell me this. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall lock, look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. That's when your children get taken into slavery and sold into the, your enemy. Never known a nation of Africans to go through that. The so-called African-Americans who I know are Shemites. We know as Shemites. Okay. Now check this one out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the word thereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt not see it no more. Talking about the land land of Africa, where we were taken from, being from Jerusalem, where we fled from. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall save you. I mean, it's, it's all through the book, Israel, Israel, Israel. Okay, the stranger that is within thee shall get up above and very high. That's us below Esau in this world. They get up high over us. You know what I'm saying? We can't get over it. And thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. And he shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. That's been the life of our story, the story of our life. No matter how you want to cut it out, uh, as a nation of people, us so-called African-Americans, Shemites, Hebrew Israelites here in America, have always struggled for equality in a world that we're here under captivity and punishment for. That's it. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou it be destroyed, because thou hearken not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes with that which he commanded thee. That's what we were commanded to do. Our forefathers broke the commandments, and here we are. So this is what I'm saying. And, you know, people want to talk about the Bible and everything uh, of uh, this the same book and everything. I'm coming into this research. I'm just going to share this and put this out there. But um, come to understand, it wasn't the Holy Bible. They actually created a Negro slave Bible. This says the British West Indies Island. This was a slave Bible. Something that they plagiarized out of the scriptures, chopped it up and everything. That's what they used. They didn't use the King James Bible. So this is where all the confusion come from, the, the information, you know, and you know, this it is what it is, man. You know? This birth of a nation. Bring your flag right out of our groom. Um, so just just pondering on this, man. It's 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 this been quite the walk for me, waking up to this understanding and um enjoying the blessing and seeing how my people cleaving to this. It, it ain't for everybody because he said he's gonna destroy ninety percent of Israel for cleaving to this world, accepting the lies and denying his word. And who who he and his son is, you know, that's that's the strong potion. You've been overcome, compromised. This ain't for everybody. I'm doing this when I share doing the work of the Most High. All praise to the Most High to deliver what He's blessed me to be able to, to get. And so somebody else need to get the seed and the water to get the understanding. If it ain't for you, it ain't for you. It's gonna be. 
a lot in this world we're about to witness in our time. As if we ain't seen enough already. Excuse me. With uh, this so-called president they gave us, you know. And that goes into the understanding with this politics. My people, they got us with that Obama thing, you know. I didn't vote for him the second time. I did vote for him the first time and only didn't vote for him the second time because that's the most how I was putting the spirit on me to not be taken by that way. They gave you just that much hope to make it think they were going to give you something. They must pacify Judah. I mean, look what they're doing to Istakar, the so-called Mexicans right now, over doing what they're doing to Asher, the tribe of Asher, uh, Venezuelans. You know, uh, a lot of these uh, Venezuelans and Hispanics got a uh, pill of the flesh, you know, flesh, pill of flesh, than the originals of the land, but yet, nevertheless, they have mixed with the other nations. Those are still God's people. Uh, look at what Esau does on this earth to disrupt and spread hatred. They're over there inter interrupting another government right now, Venezuela, tribe of Asher. In America, we get limited information because they don't tell you exactly what's going on. They don't tell you both handbooks or what they're using to play by rules in their government. But you're giving one of each, two wings of one bird, of an evil, evil, e Edomite eagle. It's no benefit in it for you. And like I say, going back to Jacob, the brothers that I've been online with and having conversations and lightweight debates with, and some of them calling us Israelites, y'all stupid, y'all dumb, this is that, that. And they all in their feelings. And I'm just simply saying, you know, dude, I, I share what I shared for brothers with like minds. But since you're here, share something that, um, biblically even, that supports your understanding, your drunkenness. And it goes back to name calling. I'm laughing at him like, dude, you know, that 90%, there's plenty of seats. Grab one. Enjoy the ride. Because if you don't understand the kingdom that's next to come, this is your kingdom. This is good as it gets for you. So I've done enough time with them. I choose not to be, let this be my, my ride and for it to continue. You know, I want out. And everything makes sense now. Everything adds up. You can continue to be a mockery. You can go in where they're going and continue your, your servitude. You know, get a second dose of it. There's a blessing to know who you are, period. I want mine, and I want to afford the people that can get it, the information, all praise to the Most High, and receive it. And this goes for the Gentiles, too, with a good heart, the Edomites with a good heart. I'll tell you, I'll, if I was an Edomite, what so-called white person, and understanding this book, that it is only about the 12 tribes of Israel, the laws and commandments they were supposed to keep, and the punishments that would befall them if they broke them. That's all that book's about. But if the understanding throughout that was due to Edomites, through the book of Obadiah, and you can YouTube it, the vision of Obadiah, understanding that, I would choose servitude over the lake of fire if that was the cards I would deal. I don't understand it. Um, it's that simple for me. I'm not... Uh, you, you tell somebody, uh, we're going to play Russian, Russian roulette. Do you want to play with the, the revolver or the automatic? Let that sink in. But I, I know I had a couple of more images to share. But I'm, I'm going to share one more with y'all. Once again, let this sink in. You won't see them. Same as us. Like I said, you might see a few that have mixed, but as a nation, you see these brothers with these beards everywhere, and they here in America. In the 70s, you've never seen, at that time when we was rocking that as a fashion, you never seen Africans over there with dreads, braids, and beards. I thought I had another one here. Where did it go? Nevertheless, yeah, one more, one more for the uh, the friends.
borders of blue. Physical. They know who you are. They're mocking you. They're mocking you. Sending your monkey straight to space. 1961. With that, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna leave this one short and uh, I want to share some more scriptures with y'all, but we gonna get that together. We, we working on that. Like I said, I was just relaxing for the Sabbath and I was going over some, uh, some comments on a video I posted. And I just want to address that. Nevertheless, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Sabbath. All praise due to the Most High, Ahaya, Baha Shem Yeshaya. Shalom.